up to today, we have a combination of self-funding and the revenue generated from the marketplace. But with the milestones in our roadmap, we would like to make two million using the Y Combinator safe mode to a five million round. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today on Raising Cannabis Capital, we are joined by Zev Pace and Joheem Lowe from Hemp Marketplace. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank Thank you you for having us. Well, this is exciting. I've been on your website, and there's so much to talk about, but I think what I'd like to do is the hemp industry is on fire, and like any new industry, there's not a lot of infrastructure for doing safe and confident business. I think a hemp marketplace is helping to correct this. From reading what I've read on the website is you bring in buyers and sellers from around the world, and you're giving them a safe place to do business. It's you know It seems so logical. But I guess to start off with, maybe we need to explain some of the challenges that hemp buyers and sellers face. As most of your listeners know, hemp was not able to be grown legally until 2014. So this is an extremely new industry, and we're going into the fifth, sixth year, depending on where you are. So at the very beginning, nobody knew anything and certainly didn't know anyone. So there was no way for people to who were growing hemp to know who would possibly buy it. And that's what caused the, us to start this and say, hey, let's provide a place for farmers to be able to put the word out about what they're growing and then let buyers contact them directly. Totally novel idea. It really took off. And now we're two years later, and it's way beyond just farmers. Yeah, I, I can see what you're saying is no one knew anyone. Like you live in Kentucky, that was one of the early states, and you have a crop and there's a, a customer that lives in Colorado, but they don't know each other and they don't know how to get in touch with each other. And that's what the hemp marketplace does. It's, I mean, it seems so obvious now, but it, it really wasn't obvious at the time, was it? So I kind of draw the analogy like it's the Wild West. People were fragmented across not just the U.S., but the world. The industry was disorganized because it was not regulated for many, many years. So I think the industry needs a best practice or established process. And I think the gist of it is that's what we're bringing. We're bringing order to the marketplace. I like the way you say that. I think you're right. I think you bring order and it makes it more understandable. Well, there are so many things that we could talk about with your business and important aspects that we really should do a deep dive, but because the show is so short, I guess maybe give our listeners a brief overview of how the hemp marketplace works and why buyers and sellers feel so confident doing business on the platform. So to reiterate, the hemp marketplace brings order to the hemp industry and how we do that is we create an integrated platform and the platform It's not just connecting buyers and sellers, but we created a community that basically allows buyers, sellers from farmers, processors to consumers to have one place to exchange, to share information, and to do business. So our platform starts with a community at its core, but we build extensible architecture to allow services to be added on top. The services that we want to continue to develop is not just to market and to list, but also eventually to transact, to advertise, to find each other, eventually a mall, so that you can do all of what you need to do in one platform and be able to find each other in one platform. You know, I read that, the mall part, and I was going to ask you, I have that in my notes to ask you about that, but it, it makes perfect sense. You go to the mall, you, f- you buy a pair of shoes, get an ice cream cone, <laughs> everything in one place. And that's what this is like. And, and, yeah, I mean, and when have, you go to the we, mall, you need to not just find the products, but you also need to find information and knowledge about the products and the people. When you create your profile, you build your profile, that's when people start to know who you are. And it also keeps the processes safe. Like, okay, this is a trusted person. This is not a trusted person. So in a way, we have the community regulate each other. Yeah, it's like the community polices itself, which is... We do spend 
spend, uh, I, I certainly I spend a fair amount of time uh, every time there is a listing of going through and vetting them and making sure that they've really gotten everything completely done, that they've got links that are accurate, that are real. I sometimes even go to their website and test it out and see how it works. I'll call them. We really try to do our best to see that everyone is totally transparent and that what they're offering does exist and is the way that they say it is. So that's why we have that reviewed mark. When someone puts a listing in, it goes into a pending category where they can still be seen, it's still active, but it does give everyone a chance to know that we're still checking them out. And then once we've reviewed them and, it, and we, we think it's, it's good, then we mark it reviewed and then it goes on to the main part of the site. So we really are building an, a level of safety that doesn't exist anywhere else. We are building the best practices. What is the vetting process? What needs to happen? And we have been learning with the market and putting those safety measures as well. And it will become the vetting process, hopefully for the industry and creating a more regulated industry going forward. It's difficult to comprehend the size of the global hemp market right now today, let alone 18 months from now. But one thing is for certain, it's growing like crazy, which means that you guys have to grow like crazy just to keep up. Give us an idea what the next, say, 12 to 18 months look like. We've launched early 2018, and it went on fire. We have quickly became the largest, most active hemp marketplace in the world today. We have achieved about 2 million page views, and 140,000 users, and with about 14,000 email lists. Oh, my gosh. But <laughs> what we're, we have a very robust roadmap, and what we want to do is continue to build a strategic B, B2B uh, business process and services, including uh, better vetting and better regulation, but eventually also moving into serving the consumers. So we created the forums and knowledge base to educate the consumers and also other parties that are interested to play within the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And so the roadmap will include, you know, allowing people to be uh, just kind of like a trade show, but like an expo. So a 24 seven expo so that people, vendors, buyers, processors who are interested have one place to tout their wares. 24 7. Wow. But allowing people to advertise and market is one thing. We need to create a better matching algorithm. Just like match.com have a good matching algorithm for buyers and sellers or, you know, people finding dates. We want to connect interested parties together. So we're going to create a better algorithm and we're going to hone this algorithm to match people that are interested parties. I see. Then once we have these processes laid out for business to business, it is right for us to help business go to consumers. So that's when we will be, uh, the roadmap for the mall platform mm -hmm. will be rolled in. But with all of this said, right, if you notice what we are doing is we're doing across the board from a lot of parties and services, we will, we are, we are, and we will, have the first TAM analytics platform that cuts across all aspects of the market, from users to products to services, prices, and communications. It seems like all the, everything's in place right now, but it's going to be tricky to do all of that out of cash flow. So I know you're raising capital. I've seen your pitch deck. Can you give, just give us an overview of investment opportunities that you're offering? So while well, currently... Up to today, we have a combination of self-funding and the revenue generated from the marketplace. But with the milestone in our roadmap, we would like to make $2 million using the Y Combinator safe note to a $5 million round. Okay. Well, we'll also have all of their contact information on the MJ Bulls website, including their pitch deck. Well, guys, I wish we could talk longer. There's so much more to talk about, but I think our listeners got a pretty good overview of what you're doing and... This is really exciting. I appreciate you being on the show. I want to also stress the point that we became successful and able to establish a strong foothold in the market 
not just because we are the first mover. Yes, we leverage being the first mover, but we also bring in a, a unique, deep, experienced team. So Zef Pace has been in the industry. He was the founder of National Hemp Association. He has deep knowledge in the hemp market for many, many years. And myself and um, our CTO, Randall Ike, we come from a very strong technology background. Our experience uh, from Stanford, PlayStation, and Google. Wow. So it's a unique combination of expertise. Yeah, it's like an all-star team. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Guys, good luck. Thank you, Dan. Good luck with this. It was great having you on the show. Look forward to hearing how this thing plays out, and hopefully I can have you back on again. Yeah, look forward to coming back and letting you know.